stem slitter is one of Logic Pro for iPad's best features. It really surprised me and pretty much everyone else who tried it when it was first added to Logic Pro for iPad, as it did the same if not better job than many premium stem separation programs and apps. Apple updated and improved Stem Splitter in Logic Pro for iPad version 2.2, making it even more powerful. So in this video, I'm putting it through its paces to find out just how good it actually is. First off then, I rummaged through some of my earliest demos from well over a decade ago to see how this new enhanced Stem Splitter deals with separating out instruments in songs recorded in less than ideal conditions. This is something I recorded well over a decade ago in my living room with one USB microphone. It's about as far away as you can possibly get from the pristine pro level stems Apple uses in their promo videos for this stuff. So first off, I want to split this track into just the basic all available stems, mostly just to see what Logic does with both guitar and ukuleles that are in this song. I will say that this enhanced version does take a bit longer to do its thing compared to the original version of Stem Splitter. They've even added a countdown timer so you don't get bored waiting for it to do something. But once it's done, well, listen to this guitar stem. Yes, it's put the guitar and ukulele together, but man, that sounds really good. A lot of third-party stem separation software usually struggle with guitars or just avoid them entirely. This though is seriously impressive. All right, so let's check out the piano stem. So my terrible piano playing aside, in my defence this was recorded 15 years ago, Logic actually has managed to separate it out reasonably well. Yes, it's a bit artefacty, but considering how rough the original recording was, this is pretty solid. The bass and drums are not bad at all, both of these were just using built-in sounds from GarageBand at the time. vocals next then, and this is where it really shines. And how far I have still to go I'll find what we lost in the fire And give back to myself I'll tore the light and try To get to Even the quieter parts sound quite decent, it's a clean and usable vocal stem and something that you might actually want to work with. Next I've grabbed this track For You by Tsfiz, I think I'm saying that right, sorry if I've completely mangled that, to test out the new presets and in this case the a cappella preset in particular. So if I tap on the region, go into Stem Splitter, hit presets, and then choose a cappella, Logic will isolate just the vocal stem and ignore everything else. Let's hear it. Yo, I sometimes hate making beats around my peeps cause when I press play they always got something to say like, yo, yo. why your tempo so slow and yo. Yo. Yo, 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 why your chords be so mellow but I stay cool like jello even though I'm upset, they talk about being amped when that's genuinely really impressive. This is obviously a much higher quality recording than the previous song, and it's super clean and really usable. If you do things like remixes, mashups, or just want to study someone's vocal technique, this is gold. Finally, I've loaded up this work in progress.
progress type thing to test out stem splitters submix function. This lets you create your own custom presets essentially. So say in this instance, I just want to make a track consisting of the bass and drums. If I tap on my region here, then select stem splitter, then hit presets again, and then select instrumental, the submix option appears at the bottom here. If I tap on the three dots, I can go in and specify which instruments Logic should separate to create a custom submix or its own track of instruments. And it sounds pretty good, a little bit of artefacting there, but nothing unusable. Let's try guitar and drums instead then. That sounds a lot better though, I guess the guitars are just taking up a lot of frequencies that the bass guitar should be sitting in. I should just worry about getting better at mixing, I guess. Alright, let me know what you think about Logic Pro for iPad Stem Splitter and what you've used it for down in the comments. Hit that like button and consider subscribing if you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.